Are you a fan of crochet? In today's how to slice, we're gonna be checking out some crochet accessories. So let's start. We're gonna be checking out this awesome project. It's called the row counter. As for you guys that are a fan of a crochet, this is a really nice accessory to have. So when you are crocheting and you need to count the rows, this is a really nice counter. As you can see, it's got these two yarn balls over here and this is assembled. Um, it's got the counter over here. So let's see the best ways to print this model. So first off, what we're going to do is, as you can see, this is a really nice model to assemble. But first off, let's see the best print settings. As for layer height, we're going to be reducing to 0 0.16 millimeters so we can get a little bit of a extra quality in the print with the layer height the lower you go, the best quality you will have. As for parameters, you're going to be selecting. Um, let's let's keep it at default at three. And for infill, we're going to be increasing for 15%. You can leave it at gyroid. Gyroid is a really nice infill pattern. As for skirt and brim, we're going to be adding brim just to one piece. So you do not. Uh, we're going to be selecting in the not right here because if you were to add brim and over here, it would add to all the parts. OK, as for support material, um, let's take a look if we need support material. So as you can see, this is the only critical piece and it does not need any support because this is an overhang. This arc, your printer can print without any support. As for speed, we do not need to change the speed because your standard print speed is fine it's great so as you can see this model you could print it like this but i'm going to show you a really nice tip to get a really nice effect on a sprint as you can see the yarn balls over here what we can do is add something called a texture you could add a texture over here in on your slicer so what you can do is by selecting over here we're going to be adding add settings fuzzy scan fuzzy scan and we can select all these values so i just moved myself out of the way so i can show you right here as for fuzzy scan for this part we're going to be adding outside walls fuzzy skin is really nice it will add a texture and will look just like yarn as for fuzzy skin point distance we're going to be reducing to 0.3 just to get a better effect and for fuzzy skin thickness leave it at 0.3 we're going to do the same thing the same fuzzy skin to the right side of the counter so what we can do is add settings go to fuzzy skin select again all the values reduce to 0.3 and um, outside walls. So as you can see, it's going to add fuzzy skin to this both pieces right here. And we're gonna, just going to be adding a little bit of a brim. So add settings, uh, skirt and brim, just brim width, brim type, and outer brim only. We can be selecting five millimeters of brim. So we just add an extra brim just to hold on. So let's slice and see how it's going to look so as you can see this looks perfect it's going to take four hours to print and it looks really nice we got a fuzzy skin right here on these two models like this and we got a custom brim on this smaller part so as you can see it's going to turn into a really nice counter so i hope you have found all these tips useful i'll see you in another how to slice and Happy printing. Bye-bye. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.